strange noises, flashing lights, the smell of something burning. All these things can capture your attention, but would they set your heart pounding? At what point does an unusual thing become threatening? The following poem describes someone reacting at an approaching threat in a growing sense of alarm. Hi, and welcome back. In today's literature episode, I will talk about the poem Oh, What Is That Sound? by W.H. Auden. Oh, what is that sound? Poem by W. H. Auden. Poetic form, ballad. W. H. Auden was a modern poet, but he used a traditional ballad form for Oh, what is that sound? A ballad is a narrative poem that is meant to be sung or recited. Typically, a traditional ballad focuses on a single tragic event and usually implies more than it tells explicitly. A ballad typically includes a setting, plot, and characters, dialogue, and repetition, a regular and simple rhyme scheme, commonly A B A B, A B C B, or A A B B. In the following slide, I'll give you some examples. Let's read the following stanza: The coolness of the night refreshes my skin. The star shines so bright, causing me to grin. So as you can see, the first pair of rhyming words are night and bright. So I need them A and A. The second pair of rhyming words are skin and green. So I will name them B and B. So this is the rhyming scheme. A, B, A, B. So on the second stanza of this poem, I will probably find the same rhyming scheme. Next one. Here in your arms is where I belong. The beating of your heart is like a beautiful song. In this case, belong and song are the rhyming words. And according to the lines, this is A for arms, B for belong and song, and C for heart. Probably, I will find a rhyming word for arms on the next stanza. Upon a nice mid-spring day, let's take a look at nature's way. Breathe the scent of nine fresh air. Feel the breeze within your hair. So, day and way are the first rhyming pair. A, A, then air and hair. So, this uh, stanza has a rhyming scheme of A, A, B, B. Literary analysis, sound devices. Originally meant to be spoken or sung, poetry has a musical quality you won't always find in prose. This is no accident. Poets use various sound devices to create rhythm and mood and to emphasize ideas in their poems. In Oh, What Is That Sound, W.H. Auden uses the following sound devices to help create suspense and meaning as well as melody. Rhyme. Similar sounds at the ends of lines. End rhyme or within lines. Internal rhyme. Repetition. Words or phrases that are repeated. Drumming. Drumming. Assonance. Repetition of vowel sounds within words that don't rhyme. Only soldiers. The author. W. H. Alden is one of the giants of 20th century poetry. Born in Northern England, he first intended to study science but soon realized his talent for poetry. His early poems, among them Oh, What Is That Sound, attracted both admiration and controversy. Perhaps Alden's most controversial act was moving to New York in 1939, 
but ultimately became a U.S. citizen. Some Englishmen never forgave him for leaving his country on the eve of World War II. In his poetry, Alden confronted the tumultuous ideas and events that rock his age, wrote on psychology, Marxism, fascism, civil war, and world war. In winning the National Medal for Literature in 1967, he was praised for illuminating our lives and times with grace, wit, and vitality. After the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, websites and New York subway walls displayed two of his finest poems, Musée de Bux, Arts, and September 1, 1939. Background The reference to drums, horses, and the red uniforms of soldiers in Oh, What Is That Sound? suggests a faraway time, perhaps around the time of the American Revolution. However, the poem was written in the 1930s, a decade that Alden called the Age of Anxiety. Frightened by worldwide economic depression and the rise of fascism in Italy and Germany, ordinary citizens felt vulnerable to events beyond their control. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and until the next one. Bye!